from daiquiris and Long Island iced tea to Manhattans or Irish coffee, whatever your tipple, there is an art to mixology. Joining us, who knows a lot about this subject, is artist and author Rachel Miller. It's great to have you. Great to be here. Your book is beautiful, The Illustrated Cocktail, uh, something that I think every cocktail lover should have in their home. Um, and just for you, I, I did a costume change so that we were both in green. A little bit of foreshadowing, the Irish coffee is going to be something that you demonstrate for us today. Absolutely. I mean, everybody's drinking beer on St. Patrick's Day, but I like a cocktail. And actually, the Irish coffee is a wonderful cocktail any time of the year. It certainly is. They're, they're soothing. They're delicious. They give you a little bit of a buzz. Um, but first, you're not a mixologist by trade. You are an artist. You're a fashion designer as well. So how did cocktails become part of your lexicon? Well, actually, it had to do, uh, it's kind of by accident. I was home during the pandemic with my two grown children, and we were watching Mad Men, and I started drawing the cocktail that they were drinking, which was an old-fashioned. By the way, my kids didn't like the old-fashioned um, <laughs> very much, but they loved the drawing. And I started, I posted it on my Instagram, and my friends were just like, what's next? And so I started doing them every week and then decided to make it into a book. That's great. How many cocktails do you have in that book? There's 65 cocktails. They're all classic cocktails. I did invent it. I am not a bartender. Um, I These are real classic drinks. Yes, and, and some of them I had already mentioned. Any others that stick out to you? Oh, I mean, I, I have to tell you, through this journey, I have discovered so many great cocktails that we forget about or you go to a nice restaurant and you are afraid to try. They're quite easy to make and this book is meant to inspire to try something maybe you haven't before. It also makes a great housewarming gift or a gift that you bring to someone as a guest to their home if you're doing a little cocktail party. Uh, let's start talking about that Irish coffee though. I've had excellent ones here. A very famous place in San Francisco that does a wonderful Irish coffee. But yours, can you tell us what the components are and can you make one for us? Absolutely. So one thing I will tell you about an Irish coffee, I like to have it at the end of the night. So use decaf. Oh, it's that's a smart tip. Yeah. Yes. And um, what you want to do is you want to brew your coffee strong. I use a Keurig because I'm very, very lazy. I just put it on strong. But you can do whatever, um, you know, any, any way that you brew your coffee. You're only going to need a half a cup. So okay. browns is a coffee. All right. And then you're going to add your Irish whiskey. It has to be Irish. Looks like you're using Jameson there. I'm using Jameson, but your favorite Irish whiskey. Right. So you're going to need an ounce oh. and a half of that. Okay. And then we're going to sweeten it. Now, um, I like to use a combination of sugars, a teaspoon of brown sugar, and then a teaspoon of regular sugar. You could use, um, you, you can use, you know, non-sugar substitutes. Sure. You can do whatever you want. Like oh, that. okay. And you're going to give it a stir. And then the topping just really adds. The That's topping, and you know, you can be lazy, and you can just get your whipped cream. I suggest real cream, though, because it melts better. Okay, but if you're in a pinch and you've got some of this. Just some whipped cream and some little bit of green sugar. Very nice. Well, that looks delicious. All right, so now you've got one for the summer months. I do, I do. I have an iced coffee. And the great thing about um, iced Irish coffee is that you can buy this cold brew. And you can get that at the store, and Starbucks makes it. A lot of people make it. Again, just four ounces. And I'm putting that in a shaker with ice. OK. With, uh, with ice, and then you strain it. So, And then you add the same Jameson, all the same components? No, we're going to add a couple of different things. We're going to do simple syrup instead of um, sugar. Simple syrup you can buy at the store. You can make it yourself. It's just equal parts sugar and water. We're going to buy about a teaspoon of simple syrup. And then we're going to add about an ounce of heavy cream. Ah, OK. So it's going to look okay. kind of like a latte with a kick. Yes. This is a really good shake. Oh, Rachel. This, is, this looks like okay. it's going to taste then delicious. Turn this into a glass with ice. But here's a tip. Take your coffee the night before, make ice cubes out of it. That way, when it goes to, um, when you're, when you're um, drinking it, it doesn't get diluted. That is a brilliant idea. Where can people find your book? 
On Amazon. On Amazon. Make sure you go out there and get it. The Illustrated Cocktail, The Art of Mixology. Rachel Miller, thank you so much for joining us. Thank Cheers. You for me. Cheers. I wish I had one. We're back after this.